we have told CIM that most of the bar and so all the bar and so we don't get input credit from GST. So we said if we get input credit from GST, we will be more accountable and the, we can benefit and the government also can benefit by collecting higher GST from the market. That is what we told him. That is the one point which he said he would put it to the GST council, to the GST team and they would take a call on that. That was regarding GST. Second thing we told him regarding the timing. Today the trend has become such that people enter the bar and restaurant around about 10 o'clock. And at 11 o'clock we have to stop serving liquor. We can serve food, but we can't serve liquor. So we said if you give us an extension of time, we'll be able to sell more and we'll be able to contribute more towards VAT. So the government is going to benefit if the timings are increased from 11 to 12. So which he said that he would implement it. So now we have to wait and see when it's going to get implemented. Thirdly, we, we said about uh, the licensing, uh, licensing. under one window, we don't mind paying license fees for five years because most of the licenses expire every year and every year it gives us trouble to go and renew them from pillar to post because single window system. Single window system. So we said even if you give us advanced licensing, suppose in the license is expiring on 31st of March, even you give us from 1st of March to get it renewed, we will get it renewed in advance. So he said that he will give us a list of which licensing you all want to be done that way and which licenses you all want for five years so that we could implement those rules accordingly. Ah, this is this basic. Is this year, so last year, I think the implement See, last year what we said was more or less the same thing which was not implemented only. So I hope this year things will get implemented. And another issue was that one of our restaurants and all See, it doesn't happen all over go. It happens in certain bars and restaurants. We can't generalize it. So those things, the law and order should take care of them. We can't say that this is happening in all bars everywhere. So, do you think that the government should come out with certain do's and don'ts when they enter? Do's and don'ts are there everywhere, but they are not enforced. So if the government enforces do's and don'ts, I think these problems will not be recurring as it recurs time to time. Okay, thank you.